All right, calculus students, it's differential equations week. We're going to do a lot of differential equations week. Uh, on the bird question, I saw a lot of um, incorrect technique and a few mistakes on the differential equations. So we're going to try to iron those out. Uh, word amongst the calculus teachers is that a differential equation is extremely likely this year. So um, we'll see if we can't smooth out your knowledge of differential equations. So if you get one of these, you'll be feeling good about your chances of getting it correct. So remember the directions are going to say just um, use, remember the directions are going to just say solve the differential equation or maybe write in the form y equals f of x and it gives you a dy dx. And then this right here, you should recognize as your C finder, right? And I've given you a C finder on all of these so that you can practice the appropriate C finding technique. So um, here we go. I've, I've nicknamed all of these. This one I, I've nicknamed no natural log and super easy. That's my nickname. So this one to separate the variables, you'll just put dy over here. And then this is going to be x squared plus two over there and dx, and I've done it, I've separated the variables, and now we'll just integrate both sides. When you do this on the AP exam, you wanna make sure that you've separated the variables clearly and that you've shown your integrals. So separate the variables clearly and show your integral. And then we'll integrate this side, that side is of course y, and then over here you're gonna get 1 3rd x cubed, super easy, plus 2x plus c, c only one on one side, on the side with x. And then you want to show that you're plugging in 1, 1. So I'm going to put at 1, 1. And I'm going to be plugging in 1 for y. And I'll plug in 1 for x. And so this looks nice and simple. I'll take and add these together. This is 6 thirds plus 1. That's uh, plus 1 third. That's 7 thirds. So this is, let's see, 1 is equal to 7 thirds plus c. And that gives you a C of negative four-thirds, because three-thirds minus seven-thirds is negative four-thirds. And then you'll take your answer and your C and rewrite your equation. Y equals one-third X cubed plus two X plus C. So this is the first one, nicknamed no natural log and super easy. This is number two, and I'll nickname this one uh, no natural log and medium easy. So no natural log and medium easy. So we'll separate the variables. And here's going to be y equals. And then, uh, let's see, I need a little room for dy. So I think I'll just back up that a little bit and just put in my dy right there. So it's y dy as I cross multiply, right? That y and that dy is equal to, and then over here I'll get x and a square root of x squared plus 5, and then a dx. And we're going to clearly show our integration on both sides. Variable separated, integrate both sides. And so here we go. We're going to integrate this side. We're going to get 1 half y squared. Nice and easy. And this side, we'll have to do a little baby u substitution. u is equal to x squared plus 5 and du is equal to 2x dx. And so I'll put in a 2 and I'll put in a 1 half. So this is going to be, when I rewrite this in terms of u, 1 half the integral of u to the 1 half du. So there it is, u to the 1 half du. Um, so integrating this, let's see, this is u to the 3 halves. And 2 thirds times 1 half, the 2's would cancel and you'll just get 1 third plus c. And so now I can put it all together here. We've got 1 half y squared is equal to, uh, let's see, 1 third, I'll put my u back in, which is x squared plus 5, right there to the 3 halves, and then plus c. Um, still a little more work to do on this medium problem. So I'll multiply by 2, and I get y squared, and I think I'll, I'll be solving for my c right after I get this done. So multiplying this by two, I get two thirds, and then this is exactly the same as what I've had. x squared plus five to the three halves um, plus c. Is use our c finder appropriately. 
So let's back up here and see what that C finder is. Ah, it's 2, 3. So that's going to be at um, 2, comma 3. And remember, you can use the C finder anywhere, so you really want to make sure that you're clearly labeling the place that you've chosen to use your C finder. You really want to solve for Y or at least Y squared before you plug it in because it just makes your work a little bit easier. Also easier to follow. So here I'll plug this in and I'll get 9 is equal to 2 thirds. And then here I'm plugging in 2. 2 squared is 4 plus uh, 5 is 9. 9 square rooted is 3 and then 3, time, three cubed is 27. So times 27 plus C. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So we've got 9 um, is equal to 18 um, plus C. And that gives us a C of negative 9. So for our final answer, I'm going to take my two parts and put them together. That's my C finder and this. And I think I'll also solve this for Y y equals the square root, and here's 2 thirds x squared plus 5 to the 3 halves um, minus 9. And now ordinarily, you'd put a plus or minus right here, but most times it'll say in the directions, hey, we want the, the equation to be a function, and when we plug in 2, we want to get a positive 3, not a negative 3, so instead of uh, plus or minus, we just want the positive one. Uh, so a fine point, but no plus or minus on here because we want it to work out to be positive 3 and not negative 3. Okay, there it is. That's number 2. That's um, no natural log and medium. And notice it is kind of long, but every step is pretty easy and fairly obvious. The u substitution was pretty easy. All right, let's look at um, number 3. This one will be shorter but it is more missable. This one's been on the AP many times before, and um, the, the U substitution is, I guess, kind of tricky, and maybe solving for Y is kind of tricky. So let's separate the variables. So Y's on one side, and then X's on the other, and then we're going to integrate both sides. And this over here, we'll do a little u substitution. u is equal to y plus 1. No matter how simple the u substitution is, if you get this on the AP exam, just show your u substitution. Show that you know proper integration technique. So this will be u to the negative 2 du. Add 1, and you get u to the negative 1. And then divide, and you get a negative. This works out to 1 over, let's put our u back in y plus 1, and then we've got this negative sign right there, which I'll just put on top. And the other side, of course, is just super easy, so we can draw an arrow and just go, hey, that's 1 half um, x squared plus c. And this is where what I kind of call you want to run the exchange program. To solve for this y plus 1, the easiest way is to just swap these two. It's like you're multiplying by y plus 1, and y plus 1 will appear over here, and you're dividing by this whole thing, and this whole thing will go down here. So you end up getting negative 1 over this 1 half x squared plus c, and then this is going to be equal to y plus 1. So you just exchange these, y plus 1 over here, and then this whole thing down there. And I'm going to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2 so that I don't have this cumbersome fraction here. And this is going to be negative 2. And then 2 times 1 half x squared is x squared. And then, of course, 2 times c. c represents any number, and 2c could be any number. So, of course, 2c is still just c. So plus c is equal to y plus 1. And this is probably a good place to go ahead and plug in our C finder. So let's figure out what our C finder was at the beginning. Hey, it was 1, 1. So I'll write at 1, comma 1. And we'll see what we get here. So if I plug in 1, 1, I get negative 2. And 1 squared is 1, so that's 1 plus C. And if I put 1 over there, I get 2. And then I'll just make a cross multiply to solve for c. So I get negative 2 is equal to 2 plus 2c. So 2c is equal to negative 4. And c equals negative 2. 
Good thing I finished because I was running out of room. Okay, so we can get our final answer by putting these two parts together, this part and this part. Put these two parts together and see what we're gonna get. And if we put those together, solving those for, uh, solving those for y, I'll get y equals, so I'm writing this down first and I'm putting that negative one on the other side, negative two, and I figured out that this c, um, the c right here was negative two, and then minus one is equal to y. There's your answer. And you see that is, I've already put the equals to y, so I'm not gonna put it twice. So here it is right here. Let's uh, make that look a little prettier by just getting rid of that right there. So there's our answer. And you can see this is the hardest kind right here. Let's look back at it for just a second at the hard part of it. And that's it's this, this, this negative two gives you a negative one. And then we have to do this swapping right here, multiplying by two over two to get rid of our fractions. So it's just a little bit of, a, of algebra in there that can be, can be tricky if you're not careful with it. Showing it one step at a time like I've done here is probably the key. Okay, one left to go. Um, or actually two left to go. Um, this one I'm gonna call, so that one was no natural law, difficult. That's my nickname. This one is natural log right here. So one natural log on this one. So here I'll divide and you'll get dy over one minus y. And here on the other side, you'll get two dx. And we're gonna integrate both sides. Integrate that side, integrate this side. And here we're gonna do a little substitution, one minus y. And so du is equal to negative one dy. So this is negative and this is negative. So this is negative integral, one over u du. And hey, there's your natural log. I see it, negative natural log of one minus y. I've said this a million times, and this is true for you guys too. So many times people rush it, don't show their, their um, u substitution, and then don't get this negative, and the AP just does not treat you very kindly if you if you mess up on that negative sign. So you wanna make sure that you show u substitution and get that, that answer right. This side is two x plus c. Don't plug in here to find your find your c. You could, and you could get it right. But it is easier to do all of your E work first, find C, and then plug in your C finder. So let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna multiply both sides by a negative one. That gives me negative, uh, the negative negative, natural log of one minus Y. Then over here, multiplying this by negative one, I get negative two X. Multiplying this by negative one, I still get plus C. So things are working out great. Here comes our typical E work. One minus Y equals E to the negative two X plus C. And this, remember how this works, is E to the negative two X times E to the C. And E to the C could be any number, and so we will just call it C. That's one minus y is equal to c e to the negative two x. And this is a pretty nice place. Like you can see that if I were to plug in my c finder here, I get something pretty easy on this side. And no matter what number I plug in on this side, it's gonna be very easy. So this is a good place. I've done my, my e work and now I can plug in my c finder, which in this case is negative one, negative one. So I am plugging in negative one, negative one. And let's do that. So one minus negative one is two. And here I've got C. And then here, this is gonna be E squared. And now I'll just divide and I get C is equal to two over E squared. And now it's just a matter of, of solving for Y. Um, so I'll rewrite this one minus y equals plugging in my two over e squared here. It's a little clunky looking, but we're not gonna let that bother us. And I'm just gonna solve this for y. All of this right here, I'll just take this y and put it on the other side, that way I'll have a positive y, and then all of this over here I'll put to the other side and I'll get my final answer. One minus 
2 over e squared times e to the negative 2x, and then that equals just y. We move that to the other side. So all of this went where the y is, and the y went to the other side, and we got what y is. And there it is. This has been on the AP many, many times before. You had it on your test when we did differential equations. So hopefully that'll bring it back for you, and there's definitely one like that. That one was natural log on just one side. So we've got one left, and truthfully, it's easier than the last three, I would say, and that's natural log on both sides. So this one will be shorter and easier. We will separate the variables, and you get dy over y is equal to 1 over x dx. And hopefully you recognize, oh my gosh, that's natural log of x. Oh my gosh, this one's natural log of y. This one is supernatural. So here it's natural log of absolute value of y. Here's natural log of the absolute value of x. This is the one kind of problem where if you're lazy and you just don't put in your absolute value bars, that you'll actually miss it. So make sure that those absolute value bars are in there. E to all of this stuff is equal to y. So here's just our normal E work, E to all of this stuff. And then this right here, we can say, okay, I've got this. This is E to the natural log of the absolute value of X times E to the C. E to the C is just C. So that's how we get the C in front. A lot of people had kind of forgotten this move on the baby bird question and had messed up their exponent here. So be careful and show this step so that you don't make a mistake on it. Here we end up getting e to the natural log. This, these two bases are the same. This is log base e. This is e. So this is y equals c, absolute value of x. Notice how when you get natural log on both sides, your answer will have no natural log in it. I've got one more thing to do. I need to plug in my C finder, which I see is one comma four. So just using nice notation, I put at one four. So four is equal to C times one, and that gives you a nice C value of four. And now we can write these two parts together uh, for our final answer and just get y equals four absolute value of x. And that also has been on the AP exam many times before. Okay, you have five problems left. I did five for you. And the five are very much like the ones that, that, um, that we just did. You will see one where it is supernatural to uh, a natural log on both sides. Let's go backwards. You will see one where it's a natural log on just one side. You will see one where you're like, oh, I got to do this um, exchange program and the solving is hard. This is no natural log, difficult. And then you will see one where it is natural log medium because you have to do like a little U substitution and the answer looks a little uglier. And then you will see one that is no natural log and super easy. So only five problems for Monday. Um, do those five problems and do your three multiple choice questions and you are done on Monday. should be a smooth and easy day for you. Once again, if you have a question and can't get one to work out, then send me a message um, via email or it's learning. Have a good Monday.